Good evening, good evening. The, um, it's only made a comment a little while ago that there hasn't been much new content on my channel, and I think uh, you're actually right. So I thought I'll do a little, uh, let's have a conversation with an ADI this afternoon and talking about standards check. And he was bemoaning the fact that it was complicated. And I was trying to explain to him that it's not really. Um, when he asked me to explain that, I just thought it might be useful for, for you guys. Basically, what you've got to think about is, well, who are you going to take? So you, you need a people who's going to respond well to you. Uh, I think that's the key thing. Somebody who, you know, when you ask questions, you actually get a conversation from them. Um, rather than a shoulder shrug, that kind of stuff. So not your best people, not your worst people, but somebody who you know you've got a good working relationship with. Then what you need to do is to put a plan together. Um, you and the people between you. Now, in an ideal world, you should just get used to doing that anyway. So there should be a reflection at the at the end of each session and a, a setting up of a provisional plan for next time. So at the start of your standards check, you could be saying something like, as we agreed last time, our provisional plan was X, Y, Z. Are we still okay with that? Or you could go the, go the route where you say, um, we had a provisional plan last week, uh, or what did we learn last week, or what new skills did we gain last week? What's the next logical step? So we need to put together a plan. The plan needs to tackle their goals, what they want to get out of today, and their needs, which is how they want to go about it. Um, now, we can't just do whatever the pupil wants to do. So we would need to be the arbiter of safety here. And if they're thinking of doing something a little outrageous, you would have to overrule. Um, so we've got a plan. Um, we've got to then talk about, well, what level of help is required? How are we going to actually go about it? Um, if you can get the people to input on the sort of route, that even better. Uh, if not, don't worry about it. So we've got a plan. We now need to get to the practice area to, to execute that plan. You might be able to start the execution of that plan right from the test center, in which case, great. But you may need to travel to a, a training area. Now, I would recommend you don't travel more than five minutes. And then we're going to ask the question, well, who drives? If they're going to drive, do they need any extra help from you? Are you tackling anything that's a little bit more complicated than stuff you've already done? If you're going to drive, then you need to give a demonstration or at least relate the things in your drive to the new subject that we're going to cover. It's no good just saying, well, watch me drive. Um, whilst we're on the subject of drive, if you are going to drive, get it right. Don't, 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 don't have a poorly executed drive where you're making mistakes. Um, so you've now got a workable plan on how you're going to get there, get to the location, then execute your plan. Now, after a short burst of activity, I don't know, seven, eight minutes, um, pull over and review. Is the plan working? If the plan is working, big thumbs up, big pat on the back for you, pat on the back for the people. What's next? You can't just do the same thing again. So you've got to think, well, do you need more of a challenge or do you need less help? Um, or are we done with this for today? That's it, we're saying that off. What's next? Um, now, if you ask the question, is the plan working? And the answer is no, then obviously it's, um, right, what can we do about that? And do we need more help? Do we need less of a challenge? Or again, are we done with this for now because it's just too much, let's do something else. Um, so whatever happens, the next burst of activity will be different to the first burst of activity and a new plan needs to be hatched on levels of support and what we're hoping to get from you. Now to be able to have a meaningful conversation, your route needs to be such that you can execute your plan without too many other things in place. You know, so really look for somewhere where you can have a, a multitude of goals at whatever it is that you're practicing and then pull over and review. So and that's something else you need somewhere to be able to pull over. I speak to people who've gone for standards check and then I'll say, well, why didn't you pull over and review? And they say, well, there was nowhere to stop. I say, well, that's a bad route then, isn't it? <laughs> it's just, it might be perfect for executing what you're doing, but if you haven't got somewhere you can pull over and reflect and review, um, assuming that your pupil can't do that on the move, then mm, you've got to think about that. So whilst we're stationary now, we also got to think about, has anything else come up? Obviously, if, any, if there have been mistakes going on, uh, as you've been going around, you need to flag it up. You need to raise their awareness of it. Um, and it may well be that you've left it until you've stopped to discuss it. If it's really safety critical, then it needs tackling straight away. Um, so do we add this to the existing plan? Or do we 
replace the existing plan with this? Well, that will depend on how safety critical it is. Um, so then, again, a new plan is hatched. So we're continually taking little snapshots of what we're doing and deciding, well, what are we going to do next? Uh, in consultation with the learner. With you having the ability to override as arbiter of safety at any time. And then the final thing to consider, whilst you're sat still and you've got a little bit of clear through the thinking time, are you doing your job? Um, and your job is to keep things safe, so you must either prevent or spot um, safety critical incidents. You must raise awareness of that with the student. Did you realise that? Um, so you're seeing it and saying it at the same time. You either deal with it on the move or you leave it until your next stop for a review. Have a chat about that. Ask the people. Um, and are you then helping the pupil sort it out, you know, with sufficient feedback given to help the pupil understand any safety critical incidents? And have you reached agreement that it needs to be sorted out, i.e., is it going to be a new go? And if it is, what's the plan for tackling that? If you if you would adopt that sort of approach, you've got checks and balances going on all the time. You've got the ability to think, well, is it working, is it not? Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, and I'll see you sometime soon. Cheers.